Hi, it's Tom with Digital Foundry. So many of you have asked for an SSD loading time test on the PS4 Pro. Sony has confirmed this new machine is using a SATA 3 interface, suggesting at least at first that it might be able to use solid state drives to their fullest speeds. The idea here is the original PS4 model may have been hamstrung by its internal SATA 2 connection bottlenecking speeds on these faster drives. If you'll remember, we did a test on the PS4 comparing its stock HDD against a solid state hybrid and also a full on SSD. And yes, while there was a significant cut in loading times on the SSD, the fact is it never quite fulfilled the bandwidth potential we get when using the same drive on a PC. So to the PS4 Pro, and let's see if the redesign can make any difference at all compared to the standard PS4. First of all, it's worth noting the process of upgrading your drive on PS4 Pro is pretty easy. You pull away the plastic cover at the back, loosen the main screw up top with the 2.4 millimeter screwdriver. Then you pull out the metal enclosure and remove the four black screws to its sides. If all goes to plan, the PS4 Pro's one terabyte drive simply slides out and you can slot in your replacement SSD. On boot up, you'll need to install the latest PS4 firmware using a USB stick, a 900 megabyte file from Sony's website, and after that, you're good to go. Which brings us to the results. For our first test, we thought we'd try The Witcher 3, which still takes over a minute to load a save game on base PS4 and PS4 Pro stock drives. For example, we're loading into Novigrad City right now with the stock drive tests on left and the SSD tests on the right, where each PS4 model is fitted with an OCZ Trion 100 SSD. We've sped this test up for convenience, but the point is you can see PS4 Pro with an SSD comes in at around 67 seconds. The bad news is that's only two seconds ahead of the standard PS4 with the very same drive. There's barely anything between them, and the supposed advantage of SATA 3's higher data throughput is clearly being cut short by a bottleneck elsewhere in the system. Our suspicion is game loading speeds still use an allocated bandwidth. It's a fixed cap on speeds to make sure other background processes like installing, downloading, and the recording features can all run at once. All of which means the advantage with SATA 3 is there, but too slight to rave about. Even in the best case scenario with the PS4 Pro and SSD, The Witcher 3 still takes over a minute to load. Now curiously, if we look to the left, we do see the Pro's one terabyte stock drive loading in Novigrad faster than the standard PS4's 500 gigabyte stock drive. That's 78 seconds versus 92, cutting 14 seconds off the clock with the PS4 Pro's default drive. It's unexpected, but a trend that carries into several other games as well. Fallout 4 is a great example. We've picked a save game in Concord Town, one of the longest initial loads we've found at 55 seconds on the base PS4 stock drive. When it comes to the SSD results though, again, we're staring at similar slight margins. 26 seconds on the PS4 Pro with an SSD compared to 29 on the standard model using that same OCZ drive. A three second SSD advantage on PS4 Pro, but again, we're getting a more exciting game with the stock mechanical drives. One more then, let's try Just Cause 3. Loading a new game puts the PS4 Pro at just one second ahead on SSD next to the standard PS4. Weirdly enough, the game did give us an outlier in our mechanical drive results. The older PS4's 500GB drive actually wins out by a 7 second margin compared to PS4 Pro on stock. It's unusual compared to most of our other tests, but it shows there's some variance when it comes to mechanical drives with large tables of contents. Generally speaking though, the Pro's 1TB drive tended to give the better returns. And of course, not all loading times are as long as these games. Take Project Cars as the final case study. Yes, loading the Azure Coast circuit with 31 cars takes a long time, at around 40 seconds on this OCZ SSD regardless of the PS4 hardware you're using. But if we look at shorter loading times, like returning to the main menu in Project Cars, we get near identical readouts from all four tests. Whether it's mechanical or solid state, base PS4 or Pro, it's always in reaching distance of 20 seconds with barely anything between them. The verdict isn't what many of us wanted, but here's what we're left with. The first point, games do run faster on PS4 Pro with an SSD, but we're talking about a saving of one to three seconds compared to the original hardware on the same drive. There's no doubt this is better than sticking to stock, but the margins of improvement are pretty much at the same level as the last PS4 when moving from stock to SSD. Comparisons with PC show it's a system level bottleneck. The Witcher 3, for example, is still at 67.5 seconds loading into Novigrad on PS4 Pro. But on PC, loading Witcher to that same spot on the same OCZ SSD takes just 28.4 seconds. That's loading in ultra textures as well. 
and yet PC achieves it all in under half the time of PS4 Pro. The second point is we're seeing some games load in faster in general on the drive PS4 Pro ships with. There are some exceptions, but overall most games load faster than base PS4 without you even having to replace the original 1TB drive. But the main conclusion here is that no, the SATA 3 connection in PS4 Pro doesn't make the most of this SSD, and given the time we've been forced to wait with the likes of Just Cause 3, The Witcher 3 and Fallout 4, it's just a shame. So there you have it, hopefully that answers one of the most asked questions about the PS4 Pro. If you found this one interesting, please do show your support by liking and subscribing. Also, we have a newly set up Patreon channel at digitalfoundry.net where you can see many of our videos, 4K or otherwise, exactly as we see them before uploading to YouTube. It's well worth checking out if you enjoy our comparison and analysis work. That's all for now though, thanks for watching and catch you next time.